Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Lennox Kubaya. In today's YouTube video, we'll explore the fundamentals of, of HIV including HIV basics and a little bit about HIV transmission. Now, remember, understanding HIV transmission is crucial for HIV pre prevention and breaking down stigma surrounding the virus. So, without further ado, let's get into today's YouTube video. So, basics. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It weakens a person's immune system by destroying important cells that fight disease and infection. There is currently no effective cure for HIV, but with proper medical care, HIV can be controlled. So, what is HIV? HIV is a virus that attacks the body's immune system. If HIV is not treated, it can lead to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. There is currently no effective cure. Once people get HIV, they have it for life. But with proper medical care, HIV can be controlled. People with HIV who get effective HIV treatment can live long, healthy lives, and protect their partners. So, step 3. Where did HIV come from? Now, HIV infection in humans came from a type of chimp chimpanzee in Central Africa. Studies show that HIV may have jumped from chimpanzees to humans as far back as the late 1800s. I know it sounds crazy, but that's the truth. Now, the chimpanzee version of the virus is known as simian immunodeficiency virus. It was probably passed to humans when humans hunted these chimp chimpanzees for meat and came in contact with their infected blood. Over the decades, HIV slowly spread across Africa and later into other parts of the world. The virus has existed in the United States since at least the mid to late 1970s. How do I know if I have HIV? So, the only way to know if you have HIV is to get tested. Knowing your HIV status helps you make healthy decisions to prevent getting or transmitting HIV. Are there any symptoms of HIV? These are all questions that we all ask. For many, yes. Most people have flu-like symptoms within 2-4 to four weeks after infection. Symptoms may last for a few days or several weeks. Having these symptoms alone doesn't mean you have HIV. Other illnesses can cause similar symptoms. Some people have no symptoms at all. The only way to know if you have HIV is to get tested. That's the only way to know if you have HIV. Get tested. What are the stages of HIV? When people with HIV don't get treatment, they typically progress through three major stages. But HIV treatment can slow or prevent progression of the disease. With advances in HIV treatment, progression to stage 3 AIDS is less common these days than in the early years of HIV. So, let's get into the stages of HIV. Stage number one is known as acute HIV infection. People have a large amount of HIV in the blood and are very contagious. Remember, this is the first HIV stage. Second, number two, many people have flu-like symptoms. Number three, if you have flu-like symptoms and you think you have been exposed to HIV, just get tested. Those are the symptoms of the first HIV infection stage. Stage number two is known as chronic HIV infection. This stage is also called asymptomatic HIV infection or clinical latency. Now, HIV is still active and continues to reproduce inside the human body. This is a stage 2 chronic HIV infection. People may not have any symptoms or get sick during this phase but can transmit HIV. People who take HIV treatment as prescribed may never move into stage 3, which is AIDS. Without HIV treatment, this stage may last a decade or longer or may progress faster. At the end of, the st of this stage, the amount of HIV in the blood viral load goes up and the person may move into stage 3, which is actually AIDS. So now we move into stage 3, which is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS, the most severe stage of HIV infection. People with AIDS can have a viral load and may increase transmit HIV to others. People with AIDS have badly damaged immune system. They can get an increasing number of opportunistic AIDS infection or other serious illnesses. Without HIV treatment, people with AIDS typically survive about 3 years. Yeah, that's the real deal. So, how is HIV passed from one person to another? I know that's what most people ask. How is HIV passed from one person to the other? We all have like our own thoughts of how HIV is, is passed, but today I'm going to explain to you how HIV is passed from one person to the other. So, most people get HIV through sex or sharing needles, syringes, or other drug in injection equipment, for example, cookers. But there are powerful tools to help prevent HIV transmission. Can I get HIV from sex? Yeah. You can get HIV if you have sex with someone who has HIV without using protection, like, I don't know, condoms or medicine to, or medicine to treat or prevent HIV. 